on the mountain, rolling lazily, desert because of writing a chapter book and we've decided to write um, a, the diary of Squiddy Steve. So we started this story from a squiggle story. Basically drew lines, taking the pencil for a walk on the board and from the squib squibbles we were able to picture a squid and that's where we got the title from. So they are now in five groups and each group is writing a day of that diary. Um, from the day that um, he gets lost in the sea to the day that he's found finally by the birds. Thank you so much. <laughs> Suddenly elevates him up, pulls him up like this. 
because the fisherman had had him on his rod. And then out of nowhere in the deep dark ocean, a, a snapping turtle comes and snaps the rod like that. That's our rod and that's the squid. Snapping turtle snapped the squid. This is our squid that got hooked. That got hooked? Yes. This is when he was hungry. He was pale blue because he was hungry. And this is when this he was when he sees uh, the hook. When he sees the hook. Thank you so much, guys. about the digestive system. Wow, a storybook? Yeah. So like, it's going to be about a crew of people that go down someone's stomach. Ooh. So what are we looking at down there? Um, just some They're just going to of the mouth, um, mm. space for that the people are going to use to go inside. And the characters. That's really cool. Looking forward to listen and read you the story, guys.
about Togo. They welcomed him to, and Greenland became his new home. He was the first African to live in Greenland. After years, he lived in Greenland. After years, he was he felt homesick. He missed home and decided. And so he decided. He decided to go home. So he went back to Denmark and Germany and France and Africa and back to Togo. Everyone in Togo was spellbound by his courage, and adventure, and all the stories about Greenland. Six weeks later, he went on. Going back to the land of ice and snow.